Hello and welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're having a good day. We started our morning by packing all our things up and leaving the hotel that we stayed in in Naples. We had some sandwiches and juice for breakfast. Then we made our way back to the airport where we went to the car rental spot. We've been here waiting for like almost an hour. We still have about that much left to wait until we can get our car. It's so annoying. Thankfully, we did end up getting our car and I was very excited to finally be on the road. There was a downside to our car and that was that the AC wasn't working properly. But it's not like there's 40 degrees Celsius outside and we were all melting in the heat. We got to our resort. After we got changed, we went down to the beach, which wasn't that far from our hotel. It was quite windy, which meant that there were quite strong waves, but I didn't mind swimming in them because it was very, very fun. Noi siamo alla spiaggia. We didn't really feel like commuting after a whole day of being in the car, so we decided to have dinner at our hotel, which honestly was kind of, it was mid. So we had this appetizer thingy. The main course was prosciutto melone, but I don't eat meat, so I just had melon with mozzarella, which was bizarre to say the least. We started the day off right at the beach and the weather was spectacular. This city slash village that we were staying in was known for these ancient ruins. If I'm not mistaken, I think they're like 2,700 years old. And it was so fascinating to see how well they have been preserved over the centuries. Me and my dad started theorizing about how they were actually built because there isn't that much information on how the intricate sculptures were actually created. So it was fun to speculate. The thing that I liked most about this archaeological site was the fact that there were panels everywhere with information regarding the history of the things that we were looking at. Then we went to the museum where we saw dead people remains and this iconic stone. <laughs> it was rather hot so we all decided to get some ice cream which was so good and then we made our way back to our hotel where we had to cool off in the swimming pool. This is what me and my sister wore to dinner and we decided to go back into the same town where we saw the ruins to have dinner. And there was this long street with restaurants and it was quite a hard choice that we had to make of where to have our dinner. The food was so good. I had some truffle gnocchi that were incredible. And then me and my sister decided to walk back to the ice cream place that we went to when we visited the ruins earlier in the day. It was very fascinating to observe how many people there were in the village at night as opposed to no one during the day. We saw that the ice cream place was open, but then we decided to walk and we just looked at how beautifully lit the buildings were. Okay, so Sofia is very, very hot right now. I decided to wear sneakers and socks in like 40 degree weather, and now I'm regretting my choice, so I'm taking them off. Yeah, so I was the smart one this evening. As always, we're gonna go get some gelato right now, and, um, yeah, I'm like literally, <laughs> I am tired, but I'm happy. We got our ice creams and I got the same exact flavors that I did earlier in the day because I just loved the combo so much. I'm headed to the beach. My family's already there. It's also the last day that we're at this beach. So I'm just gonna go enjoy it. I read a bit at the beach, but I spent the majority of the day in the water. 
Me da some fancy chili con carne. We rushed getting ready because we're about to miss lunch. Italians close at like two or three. Italian restaurants do have this thing where they close at midday, so we didn't get any lunch. Instead, we went to a supermarket where we got random things and had a mini picnic in our hotel room. I was most excited for this watermelon that was so sweet and juicy. Okay, well, we're going to do an unboxing. Oh, it's Dumbledore! Oh my god, twins! Then in the afternoon, we spent some more time at the beach. It wasn't too hot outside because the wind was cooling you off. Yet again, I spent the entire afternoon in the sea because first of all the water was cooler than it had been the previous two days and also it was our last time at this beach so i made the best of it this was my sister reading while we were packing up and it was quite late in the afternoon when we decided to leave the beach because yet again we tried to enjoy it for as long as we could. This is my mom being extraordinarily goofy with her two hats and two pairs of sunnies. When it was time to head out for dinner, the sun started setting. So we decided to go watch the sunset at the beach and the light was phenomenal. Me and my sister couldn't waste the opportunity. So we took our shoes off and we put our feet in the water. Then my mom found this boat and then me and my sister washed the sand off our feet before getting in the car and going back to the exact same place where we went last night for dinner except we picked a different restaurant where we had pizzas and popping that bubble was the most satisfying thing ever. Each of us picked a different kind of pizza and every single one of them happened to be extraordinarily delicious. After dinner, we did not get ice cream though because we were so filled with the pizza that we had, but we also had some watermelon left over from lunch. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next week. Hello, America. Hello, America.